Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, my name is Alexis Jada and welcome. So I've been gone. I swear it has been such a crazy, crazy, crazy month. I'm finally back. I am a new aunt. Ah, my niece was born the 24th, you guys, and we have just been in awe of her. Her mama had a really tough labor and we got to stay with baby for a couple of days and it has just been super crazy i'll go more into that in a vlog but it has just been amazing so i'm a new aunt i was super emotional i was crying i was like oh my gosh it, it was a lot seeing my husband with the baby seeing my brother with the baby and oof. but thank you guys for all your well wishes for the mama i just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart thank you it really 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 means a lot to me so crazy we have a newbie in the family and it just like trips me out that my brother is a dad crazy a lot of you guys are like uh your turn and i honestly think maybe i am done i was kind of on the fence of like maybe 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 not but baby jade has been very vocal of i don't want a sibling anymore before she was like baby 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 but i think after she saw her dad with her cousin she was like um <clears throat> No, we're not doing it, <laughs> but yeah. So sit back, relax, you guys. We're gonna get into makeup and story time. Also, I did wanna do a notification shout out. Notification shout out goes to Mom of Jay's. Reading your comments seriously made me feel super emotional and I wanna say thank you so much. Thank you so much. Not judging her and just being caring. Anytime you guys say that someone reminds you of little Lex and you guys are extra kind or you lend an ear or you're more understanding. It seriously makes me so freaking happy. Warmth to my heart and I wanna say thank you, thank you so much. It seriously makes my day. Love you. I love all you guys' comments, you guys' support. It seriously means so much to me and it never goes unnoticed, I swear. You guys keep me going. At moments where I feel like I'm slipping back into like a dark place, I will go and read the comments, read you guys' messages, and I seriously feel like it literally helps me. And I just wanna say thank you so much because at times when that dark place does wanna creep back in and I feel like little Lex again, you guys are there to pick me up and it's seriously, I will forever be grateful. Now. Let's jump right back in to the story that's beginning. It is now, we're going into February. I got this freaking cool box from ColourPop. I swear, they just be like, I, I need part two to Twilight. But I want to get lost in love with you. I'm going to create something with that. Do some heart stuff. It's going to be fun. So let's do a little recap of last story time so we can be updated on the new new. I freaking love you guys because you guys rock with me and it just makes me feel so seen of my emotions and just you guys saying like my emotions are valid means the world to me. My mom and me are in a good headspace. It took a very long time to get here. A lot of you guys are very surprised that we still have a relationship, but just know it took a lot of work, a lot of work. And doing the story times, trust me, reliving and reopening wounds that I have kind of just like baby patched over I do want to like just <clears throat> mom and fight with her but with my mom she's always willing to hear me out and listen to me and my mom has apologized and we've done a lot of healing. Our relationship of course isn't 100% patched but it has taken a lot and I feel like there is still bumps, but I show my mom grace, a lot of grace, just because of her own story, her own journey. And even though me as a mother, I can't forgive her, but as her child, I can, if that makes sense, you know? But okay, let's just do a quick recap. So my mama put me in baby baby Julie and I was freaking hot.
especially because stepdad is at home with her and you guys know i hate even calling him stepdad but i know if i like say a certain like caca or pendejo stupido or you know the known uh, no name that's what we're gonna call him no name so her being at home with no name gets me hot because it pisses me off where it feels like I was just put away and they were just happy, chilling, my siblings good, and I'm just there. It's out of sight, out of mind. And it pisses me off even more where I didn't even have to be there. I could have just been with the peaches, but she wanted to hurt me. And a lot of the time I do reminisce a lot and I'm like, damn, like you really, really, really did not like me. And it's even, especially even harder at times now seeing how she interacts with my sister. Now, I don't want her to treat my sister how she treated me. It just hurts to see how it's like, oh, okay, oh, okay, you know what I mean? And it's like a bittersweet for me of how my sister is being raised and how I was raised. And it's like, okay, so it was doable, just not for me, you know what I mean? Even when I would talk to my grandma about it, when we, we would talk, my grandma would just be like, she didn't like you, like she did not like you. And I'm like, okay, damn, like I got feelings, but okay. But my grandma was just very cut, you know, just, yeah. And there's times where they wanna say like, oh, you were a difficult child, but it's like, for what reason? Bittersweet seeing how my sibling is being raised and the mom that she got versus what I got. It's just a journey. Everyone has a different journey, you know? But anyway, so my mom puts me in baby jail. I honestly am just like pissed off that I can't just like walk up and leave, right? So I'm there, they tell me like, you gotta eat, you can skip a meal, but you gotta eat the other two meals. My showers are like under two minutes. It is just so irritating because I'm just there and I wanna be out, but I don't want to talk to her. I don't wanna have to, kiss ass and be like take me out of here you know that kind of thing so i try to get a hold of the peaches and i can't because they have the number on file so this whole time i'm in there i'm like oh my gosh like i'm fired like that's it like i'm done call my mom and i tell her like i need clothes i was going to apologize but i was like mm -mm, i can't i can't because i just i can't my mom called it pride, but I'm like, nah, ma, it was not pride. Like, I was so hurt that, like, it wasn't even pride. Like, it was, I don't know what you want to call it, but it was not pride. That's it. That's all I want from her. Like, just bring me some clothes because I just feel super, like, just bummy, you know, and I'm just pissed off. I want to tell her, please forgive me, my lord, but I can't. So, anyways, I hang up. I'm in my bunk, just chilling, and... They come to the door and they're like, you got a visitor. I'm like, oop, that's it. I'm going home, I'm going home. They put the little code, little beep, 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 beep. Asked me how my stay was. Now them asking me that, I was like, oh, cool. I'm for sure going home. Like, this is it. Home run, baby. So I walk out and as I walk out, Tommy is right there and that's where we left off. So now let's get to it. So Tommy sees me and her eyes kind of light up where I think she was just like surprised of how I looked because I feel like where I was so hurt, I couldn't hide it. Now I got like different side. Look, ooh, 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 look at it. Uh, I look hurt, okay? And she just like smiles and just kind of just like looks at me because like I feel like it was just, yeah, I feel defeated. And I was more excited to see Tommy than I was like to see my mom, right? So I look at Tommy. Tommy's just looking at me, she has a bag with her, and I'm kind of just like pissed off because I was like, oh, okay, I'm not going home, okay. And I was even more pissed, like she can't even get out of the car and come see me. Like I was just so pissed where I was just like, why do you hate me so much, why? And then I had two parts of my brain. Part was like, why do you hate me so much? And then the other part was like, she's trying to teach you a lesson because you be acting up. It is so hard and then in the middle i have a like mm -mm, mm -mm. i just want to like freak the f out on everybody and just like book it and just start punching everybody like in a movie you know where like they just like doze off and like in their head they're just going bah, 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 bah. i was doing that walk over to tommy and i'm like where's she at and she's like do you give a f <sighs> and i'm like yeah i thought i was gonna like at least see her she's like why so the lady in the front tells us that we can go into one of the visiting rooms and Tommy asks me if I even wanted to visit. And I'm like, 
yeah. She kind of laughs. We go into the visiting era, eh, era area and we're just in this little box. They have a mic there and Tommy's like going like this and like pointing to it and like goes like that. Pretty much tell me like watch what you say because they're listening, you know, that kind of thing. But I don't care. I don't care because I'm like, they're not going to do anything anyways. What are they going to do? Like, honestly. And it's probably like, whatever. So I'm just mad about it. Tommy's asking me like how they treat me. They treat me good in there. Is there anything I need? And I'm like, I need to go home. She tells me, well, you know what you need to do, but you want to be stubborn. And I'm like, I did not do anything. Like, I don't know what you guys don't understand. She tells me that I just need to learn to shut the f up, stay quiet, keep my head down. And then when I turn 18, I can bounce. And I'm like, you know how long that is? Like, do you know how long that is? And I'm like, you know, crying at this point, like talking to her because I'm like so frustrated. And she just keeps like looking at me and she tells me like, I'm telling you and you're not listening. And I'm like, no, like that can't be it. Like I, that can't, that can't be it. I'm like just like really emotional because I don't feel like that's fair. I don't feel like it's fair. They're not telling me what I want to hear. And Tommy's pretty much telling me like, that's what, that's what's going to have to do. So shut up, listen, or you're just going to keep bucking heads with her. I keep telling her like, would you do this? And she's like, don't compare me with me. Don't compare me with your mom. And I am asking her like, why not? Like, why not? Like, I don't think this is fair. She just keeps putting her hands up and she's like, do you want something to drink? Because in visits, they can get you something to drink from the vending machine. And I tell her like, yeah. So she gives me a drink and I'm like trying to savor it because I'm like, I can take this back there, right? Uh, no. I didn't know that. So I was like taking little baby bitch sips, okay? And she just keeps telling me to chug it. And I'm like, no, like I want to, you know, savor it. These visits are only like 30 minutes. So she's talking to me the whole 30 minutes and I'm like, she thinks she'd be embarrassed outside smoking, probably checking in on him and she's not in here. And she's like, stop, stop, stop. Like trying to calm me down and I'm getting pretty wild where I'm like getting mad and swearing right so as i'm doing all of that the intercom thing goes on and they're like miss reyes calm down so i'm even more pissed because i'm like this is not fair this is not fair like i did not do anything to end up here and they're over here trying to like tame me and it just doesn't seem fair and i keep telling tommy like you think this is fair like you honestly think this is fair everything i know you think this is fair and she kind of just like looks at me and she asks me like if I'm threatening her and I'm like, no, like, but is this, is this fair? And she tells me that now I just made her feel uncomfortable because it seems like a threat. And I'm like, no, you're just guilty. And that's why you feel uncomfortable. So she probably thought I was threatening her about her stuff, but I was just, I guess it was threatening her, but I was just pissed where I'm just like, this is not fair. This is not fair. Like, why am I in here? It's not fair, like it's just not. She tells me that they packed me some clothes. I'm like, okay, so how long am I gonna be here? She's like, I don't know. I'm like, that's not, okay. And so I buzz a little thing, something and I'm cool. Cause I think that I still have my juice that I can take back, right? And I'm like, I'm ready to go back. And then Tommy was like, for real? And I'm like, yeah, like I'm ready to go back. Like I just wanna sleep the days away. And she's like, no, you need to learn while you're in here. And I'm like, okay. Tommy ends up leaving. I'm in there just sipping my juice and the person on the intercom was like, finish as much as you can because you can't take it back. I, you would think that like, she gave me like a freaking purple and purple or something. I was, ooh, I was so pissed. So I grab it and open and I just start going everywhere. Okay, so now that is a no, no. That is, you're vandalizing the property, okay? they let me do my little mess and I'm just sitting there wet and sticky, wet and sticky. And I'm just so mad. Cause I was like, so as I am like walking out because they're telling me like, stand up, blah, blah, blah. I stand up and I'm going towards the door and I see my mom in the front and I'm like, what if she was checking you out and you just, no, she was seeing if I could stay longer and do whatever she had to do so I could stay there. How I just acted, they were pretty much like, yeah, we'll keep her, okay? So Tom is the one who has to come and get me. And he looks pissed, pissed. And I don't blame him because supposedly he had to clean it, but whatever. So he like grabs me and I'm like, you don't need to touch me because I don't like when they grab me out of anger. 
it's like don't like i didn't touch you i didn't hit you don't grab me out of anger like i just don't understand that like it's like always feels like a power move whatever and i'm like don't and he like puts his hands like that because even he knew like boy you can grab me too hard so he takes me in there they're like what's going on my hair's all wet i look like pissed i'm like mad i was so mad where i was like contemplating on whether or not like taking a and smearing it all over the walls like i was so mad i was so mad so barry comes and she's like hurry up and turn on that shower and i was like bitch shut the f up like i was so mad i was screaming at her the other like employees that are like miss reyes miss reyes i was like no like get her away from me like she triggers me she triggers me i don't want to talk to her like she pisses me off like she really thinks that she's a kid and she can talk to me the way she is so i'm like yelling at them anyways i i get pinned and i have to go to the room <laughs> so i am labeled like extra extra hostile they take everything i don't get no sheets i don't get no blanket i don't get no pillow everything's taken away and i am just fuming because i'm so mad because i was like i could do something right now to like harm myself and my mom don't even care because she's over there playing playhouse with that dude and i'm over here like fighting and like pissed off like what is she thinking like i am so mad because i'm like everything like, everything that's going on right now she has no idea about i bet you they're not even telling her like this 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 right like they're not gonna be updating her like that like no they're not so again just in my room hot because it just makes me feel just like abandoned where i was like mm -mm, like this it's not my fault it's not my fault i don't want to take any responsibility because it's her fault that's how i felt i was like it's her fault it's her fault so they have a therapist person come in and it is a female and she was trying to like do a very like nice approach so i nipped it in the butt like I was like, please don't talk to me like that. Like, you can just talk to me however you want. But, like, just as long as you're respectful, like, just don't talk to me like that. Like, don't baby me, please. And she's like, okay, got it. Can you just tell me, like, what happened? What caused this? Yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, for what? Like, y'all don't do nothing. And I'm, like, screaming. And I'm, like, telling her, like, you guys don't do anything. This isn't my first time in here. This is my, my second time telling you guys x y and z what you guys don't care and she goes well miss reyes maybe it's because how you act so i get even more mad because i'm like how is someone supposed to act like they're not hurting like i've already done that i already told you guys this way i already told you guys this way I told you, you guys don't care and she's like well that just sounds like manipulation i'm still sticky i'm still mad and I feel like as I'm crying, it's just making everything else so sticky. So I'm just like irritated. And I was like, can you go? Like, is there a waiver that I need to sign where I don't have to keep talking to you guys? Because one, you guys don't have to do your job. Two, you guys don't, you guys don't make people feel better. And three, I need to get the fuck out. Like I, she's like, well, there's protocol that we have to take. I was like, oh yeah, right. Of course, to cover your guys' ass. You guys don't care. And I just kept telling, I kept saying it over and over and over. And she gets irritated because I was like, give me a waiver. 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 Like, so imagine trying to talk to somebody and someone's just waiver, 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 waiver. And she's like, Miss Reyes. Like trying to talk to me. And I was like, get out, get out. So I was just like, shut down. Don't want nothing to do with nobody. Nothing. She leaves. I can hear everyone talking and all the kids are like, oh my gosh, she's, she's crazy no wonder why she's here all kinds of things and i'm just like Fuck yeah like screaming again i'm having they're calling a titcher tantrums and i'm i'm like these are meltdowns man like i'm having a meltdown but when y'all do it and y'all take your little benders and go drinking and like snort coke and, shit and do that thing then it's like oh girl you're really going through it but when a child has all these emotions and is like and have a full on meltdown they want to categorize it as a tantrum tantrum it just like irritated me because it wasn't just the kids laughing like even the, the, the adults were laughing and they're just like mm, i don't know what she thought she was doing now she's gonna go to bed sticky and this and that and i'm just like okay okay i wasn't thinking that's the thing like i'm just a, a pot of water and it's boiling to the top and it just pew. so late late at night they allow me to shower when like everyone's like asleep they were like are you good are you gonna are you gonna act right are you gonna behave 
And I just like nodded. I didn't even wanna talk. Cause I feel like if I were to talk to them and have any sort of interaction, I was just gonna explode. And I was so close just to like, cause I was like, I don't care. I wanna leave here and I wanna go to juvie, get locked up there so that my mom can be like, oh my God, that's not my fault. But I had to keep telling myself like, Jade, even if that happens, she don't care. She don't care. Like it's not gonna do what you think it's gonna do. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like an on battle with my mind. I took the quickest shower ever, put my hair up, and I was like, can I lay on a sheet? Like, I'm tired. They're like, it's not that cold, you need a sheet. So I got no sheets. I didn't deserve it, pretty much. Breakfast comes, and I decide to get out of the room because I was like, you know what? I'm just going to have a better attitude. Silly me, I could be on my best behavior here. And what that therapist said, of like pretty much how I was reacting, that's why they weren't taking me serious. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm just gonna like calm down, breathe, and it's gonna be okay. So for the next three days, I tried to be the most chillest person. Okay, calm down, don't react, it's okay. I tried to be like super calm, all that. Wake up, clean the area, volunteer to clean. Like I, I am really trying. Even when Barry's talking to me, I'm just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not telling her off, any of that. I still don't take my mom's phone calls with those three days because I am like, you know what? She eventually has to come get me. We can talk then. I don't want to talk now because it's not going to go anywhere. Like, it's just not. And I need those the time away from her just to think. And I keep thinking, like, if... I calm down, maybe I can get out sooner, or I don't know, who knows, who knows, who knows. So when I see Tom, I ask him about the area, if I'll be willing, if they'll be willing to let me clean it. He's like, it's already taken care of. I thought I was gonna clean it, so I was pretty mad about it, but it was somebody else. And I was like, I just wanna apologize. And he was like, that's good. And I was like, can I write a letter to apologize? Because I did feel dumb. I did feel dumb, where I was like, Jade, like you're doing too much doing too much you act like a child just call me call me chichis tells me that he could watch me supervise writing the letter i apologize to the lady in the front in the front of how i acted and i i just apologize right we were able to like watch tv watching tv and we had to do a thing called like what's like a circle and it's like the therapist comes and we talk about our emotions kind of like what's called group therapy and everything was going good these three days, okay? I was getting like, good job, got my pillow back. I was like, all right, you know, cool, we're chilling, fine, all right, cool. Hanging out a little bit with like Sergio and Shelly and like some other girls. And I'm just kind of just like that person. Like they would do like a project and they'll be like, oh, like, did you want to? Like they were still very standoffish with me because again, like I'm very like bitchy vibes. Like I'm very like, strong face of like what is it called i just look mean you know but i'm not i'm just like i'm very misunderstood you know but i don't blame anybody that like don't want me to like play with them or anything because i'm just like I, I i come off very strong and then i know they were probably scared because how i was just like acting so i didn't really click with anybody but like if they were inviting me i invited me they invited me right so we were in group sesh and we were just talking about emotions. It seemed like it was going good. People were talking about like, they didn't have a good relationship with this person, but that they were going to try and blah, blah, blah. If someone else in the group was like, oh, I can relate, they would talk, you know, if they could relate, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. So they picked on me and they were like, so Alexis, like you wanna talk about why you're here? And I already was, I should have been like, uh, no, I don't want to. But I was like, I was really loving how everyone was sharing their story, you know? So I was like, okay, cool. So I said, I'm here because my mom doesn't know how to handle me because my stepdad hurt me and she rather choose his side than my side. I felt like that was enough context. You know what I mean? We're all a bunch of teenagers. You can put one, two together. You know what I'm saying? It is not that hard. Shelly goes, I thought your, your, your stepdad molested you. Now, I didn't go around telling everyone in the group, but at the same time, I was like, you know what, it's cool. 
it's cool because I never told her like don't say nothing but I just didn't like how she how she did it where I was like okay you're one of those kind of girls okay mm -hmm. that's cute that's cute love that for you that's awesome everyone is like what and I was like yeah he did he did and so the therapist is like do you want to talk about it and I was like no it's fine because nothing ever gets done she's like where I is and I was like it doesn't so there's another girl in the group and she goes same thing happened with me but that's not why I'm here but she can sympathize with me I was like thanks you know yeah thanks I'm getting good like feedback back where they're like, I'm sorry that happened to you, you know? Some of the girls in the group were like, well, I hope that can get figured out. Is it because he pays your mom's bills? And I was like, ah, uh, no, it's more like, and so like, we're like talking, you know, they're trying to be like, girl, like is she trying to, you know, do it for the family, you know? And we're, we're just all talking, whatever, whatever. Shelly wants to insert herself again and be like, I just don't think like our mom would do that though. Like it kind of just seems like it's not the truth. Sergio looks at her and just goes like this, you know, like just to like be quiet. The therapist tells her she needs to keep that to herself, but that no one interrupted her little story pretty much to just shut the up. A lot of girls in the group were offended by her comment, which yeah, like that's really rude. So I'm like, why? She's like, I don't know, like, it just doesn't like, and I was like, 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 like what? Like I was getting really defensive. And she's like, you see, why do you get so mad? Like if it's true, why do you get so mad? Mitch. So I tell her I'm mad because I constantly am having to like defend myself. And instead of her, even if she didn't believe it, to be like, oh, like, I'm sorry. Like she wanted proof, she wanted details. She's like, well, you just, you didn't say like what he did. One of the girls goes, she doesn't have to. She doesn't have to give you details, you sick f So now everyone in the group is kind of, kind of getting, you know, riled up and she's like, it's just a question. I don't know why you guys get like that. One of the girls is like, who? What do you mean you guys? The ones who have been abused? And so we start like, you know, all attacking her pretty much. She starts to cry. So we go in timeout because she cried and we didn't have a healthy discussion. Now I was pissed because we all, ha all had to get pulled out and like talked about like the situation and I was telling them like, this is what happened. And you know what? It was the therapist's fault because she should have nipped it quicker and I feel like she didn't. So it was her fault. That's what I felt like and that's what I said. <sighs> I shouldn't have said that because I feel like I just pissed the therapist lady off and it just like, did not look good. Anyways, so Sergio pretty much chose her side because she was pretty, you know? And he kept sitting by her and wasn't really talking to me when she was around. So I was getting irritated. I get pulled out again for another session and it was with a different lady. She's asking me, what is something that they can do? Because they know that this wound is still very fresh because how I reacted. Now, I just constantly felt like they were just like weren't taking it serious and were like probably thinking. I was just saying this about my stepdad so that I can get out or something. I tell her that she can just please call my mom. And she's like, well, we've been, we've been speaking with your mom and she said that she is working on a living arrangement and that it just takes time and you need to understand that it takes time Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, that's fine. So I go back out and I still just feel like <sighs> anytime I talk about the situation, it just like feels like, oh, it's your fault. Oh, it's your fault, you know? So we do another group session. I don't talk about it. I don't talk about it. They're asking like, oh, you know, what's something that you want to change? And I tell the group, like I want me and my mom's relationship to get better. I want my mom to be happy because when my mom's happy, I'm happy. And that is truth. Like I've always wanted my mom to be happy. I want my mom to be happy because I'm like, maybe that's why this and that's why that. Like if she's happy, Maybe things will be better. Shelly wants to insert herself again and say, but you don't want your mom to be happy. You want her to leave her husband. And I just tell Shelly, I'm like, can you just like kindly shut the f 
fuck up, please. The therapist yells and I'm like, I said, please. They tell Shelly like anytime that Alexis is talking, don't interrupt, please. That they, she has nothing to add to the conversation. Just to like, just to, just please don't. I didn't like the way they said it. Like if I was a problem. You know what Miss Reyes is talking like, don't, just, just don't. Bitch, I was pissed because I was like, I don't know what I did to Shelly for her and her stupid questions. But as time went on, I just feel like Shelly just didn't understand that dads were capable of hurting their children. So I just was like, you know what? It's not your fault that you're stupid and that you live in this bubble of innocence. I am jealous of that. And I told her that, you know, and she was just like, Okay, because what can you say to that? Not a damn thing. So I just told her, like, I forgive you for being a idiot, but yeah, don't talk when I'm talking in therapy. Thanks, okay, bye. And that's just how it was able, like we were able to like, you know, coexist with each other because anytime I had anything to say, especially about, looks like I have like a, a mohawk. No, what's called, is it called mohawk? No, like, like Joe Dirt, you know, but, Anyways, I feel like any time I had anything to talk about, she was just like, well, you know, like you do have two other other brothers, like you're being pretty selfish. Where I was just like, did my mom send you? Like, did my mom send you, bitch? Because it constantly just felt like that. And I feel like the therapist wasn't like interrupting quick enough. She wasn't like handling her quick enough. You know what I mean? And I feel like where I've pissed off the staff, they kind of just like let it happen. And I kind of think they got off on like seeing the kids fight because like they just like like the kid or, you know, like they took a little bit too long for my personal liking to like break up a fight. I feel like instead of running, they would like walk and kind of like just look at each other of like who's gonna win. You know what I mean? I didn't like it. I didn't like it. So I kept my distance, but at the same time, like I let the bitch know like don't get cute. Don't get cute because I really don't care if I get sent to juvie. Um, but you're stupid, so that's okay. That's not your fault. You're just stupid, you know? And that's why you're probably here because you're stupid. And she would just be like, okay. Like, it was just so awkward. Two more days pass by. I'm still just chilling in there. And I take a phone call from my mom because I'm like, you know what, whatever. I'm just going to talk to her. And if she asks if I'm sorry, I'm just going to say yeah because, like, She's chilling with me in here and I don't wanna be in here no more. Like I feel like I am just like in here for the wrong reasons and I'm just like, you know, I'm just not gonna talk to her. Like when I get out, I'm just not gonna bug her. I'm not gonna ask to like come around. Like I'm just gonna let her live and not interrupt anything that they got going on because I don't wanna be here. I don't wanna be here and even if I'm not with the peaches and like that's messed up, I just don't want to be here because it really can drive someone crazy being locked up and wanting to escape. Like I literally felt like a caged animal and I wanted to walk out so badly and be with like my mom, but like she didn't want to be with me. So I was like, you know, that's cool. That's chilling, whatever. I'll just like let you be. And like, I won't bother you no more. So I was already like coming up with the plans in my, in my head. Like I will just like let you be, that's fine. Like you'll just do you and I'll just do me. That's fine, honey, but she's up oats. Like, that's cool. So I finally take a call from my mom and we're talking and it seems pretty like, okay. And she's telling me if I have anything to say. And that is cute of like, are you going to apologize? Right? Because like, why else would you like say that? And I tell her like, I just want to apologize. Like, I do be having like a slick mouth with you. And I just feel like it's because I expect you to move quickly and i gotta understand that like it's not that easy and she's like yeah and the whole time that like i'm like apologizing i'm like so mad because i'm like i don't even want to apologize and it's pissing me off that like you think like i should be apologizing but i'm like but i'm gonna keep apologizing because i want to get out of here <sighs> so <clears throat> she's asking me like what's the plan and i like straight lie to her and i'm like i'm cool with just staying in the room and just being there she's like well what makes you think that you're gonna have a room to yourself and i was like no i didn't say that like i'm sorry if that's like how it came out like wherever you decide to put me she's like i don't know jade i feel like you're just saying whatever just to say whatever and i was like no like i'm not and like i'm sorry so i'm like just apologizing and the lady that's listening to like the call she's just like looking at me because even she's probably like 
bitch, you know, damn well you don't want to be in that room. Or I don't know, maybe she was just taking pity on how I sounded. And I was like, whatever you want, like whatever you want, like just tell me, like I'll just do it. Like I'm just so sorry that I put you in this situation. Apologizing up the culo. She tells me that she's gonna think about it, but that she still thinks that I think that I can just say whatever and do whatever. And I'm like, yeah, like it's fine. Like take your time. She's telling me that like, I just can't do whatever I want and that I need to understand that. I'm like, okay, I'm like, yeah. I, I get it, I get it. She's still like hesitant. She's like, I don't know, Jade. I just feel like you're just saying whatever. And I'm like, and that's fine. You can just, you know, continue to leave me here until you feel comfortable with picking me up. Tell her I love her and the conversation. The lady was like, that sounded very sincere. And the whole time in my head, I'm like, well, you just wait. <laughs> you just wait, because I'm just so mad and I'm like, okay, whatever. I stay there for that night and I was like pretty mad, I'm not gonna lie. I really thought after like we got done talking, she was gonna come get me. I was like, okay, yeah, she's gonna come get me now because I apologize. There's no reason for me to be here. She's gonna come get me. Wrong, wrong. Later the next day, like halfway during the day, I get told to get my stuff and that I'm getting ready to get picked up. Everyone is like, yeah, like all excited for me. You know, everyone's happy when everyone gets to like get placed in a home or they're getting picked up. Me and Shelly have like not been like besties, but I understood that she was just dumb, you know, and that it wasn't her fault that she was dumb. So I tell her bye, tell Sergio bye. And I tell him like, I hope I don't see him again. He is like, same, hope your stepdad gets supported. And I'm like, thanks. Go out to the front. They tell me like, how was your stay? Tom is telling me like, he would really appreciate it if I give him like a really good feedback, whatever in the feedback card and that he, he treated me nicely. And I was like, I got you. Because he, he was okay, he was all right, you know what I mean? He wasn't bad. Now, Barry, I constantly filled out complete forms on her, nonstop. And the therapist, because I feel like, again, she wasn't moving quick enough for my liking. And I feel like she was very unprofessional, letting other people <clears throat> talk about their trauma and like letting other people be like, I don't think that happened to you. Cause it wasn't just me who had like a very, you know, disgusting story. Other people would, and they would go into like grave detail cause they want to talk about it. And like a boy in the group would be like, I thought girls like that. Very inappropriate. The therapist took way too long to be like, hey, way too long. And instead of being like, hey, that's not appropriate. She'd be like, Wait your turn to talk. You know what I mean? And it was just like, bitch, get fired. I go out and I see my mom and my mom hugs me and like I hug her, Tommy's with her. So I'm kind of like a little bit agitated because I'm like, I wanted to like talk to my mom, but her friend is here. And the last time me and Tommy saw each other, I was like, you know, acting up a little bit, but I just wanted to just see my mom. So my mom kind of sees that I have like a little attitude. She's like, you're gonna start already? And I was like, no, I just wanted to see you. Like, just you. She was like, well, that's rude. Tommy wanted to see you. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I don't mean to be rude. Before, my mom wasn't okay with like us being vocal with our feelings like that. Like, oh, I love you. You know, that kind of thing. And it's really cool because my sister gets to like shit up to my mom. Like, hey, I feel jealous. And my mom fixes the problem. I think that's so crazy to me. Cause I'm like, oh my God, like you can say that. Like, that's not, like, that's okay to say. And my mom was like, I'm so sorry that like, I was so weird with you about things like that. Like it pissed my mom off when I'd be like, hey, I'm feeling some type of boy. Like, why is this bitch gotta be here? You know what I mean? My mom would be like, the nerve of you to feel like that, you know? So we ended up kicking it with Tommy for a little bit. I like tell my mom that like, I wanna see my brothers. Like when can I go see my brothers? Because I'm thinking since I made the promise to my mom that like I was going to be living with her that we were gonna go straight to the casa. No, my mom was out doing runs if you catch what i'm putting down so i just stay quiet because i'm like what have you been doing this whole time i've been there what have you been doing and i feel like i can't even ask like what have you been doing because it's not my place so we go to ihop we go to eat i stay in the car while they do some stuff as my mom leaves me in the car to go do something i'm like mom can i get my phone back she's like in such a rush she's like i don't have it and i was like what do you mean she's like i don't have it you said that you didn't have it so i didn't look for it i'm like okay cool that just tells me like it's still in the same spot that i left it 
So I'm like, okay. She leaves me in the car for a good like hour and 30 minutes. And in that hour and 30 minutes, I had to turn my phone on and I was on it for like a couple of minutes before it died. But I was kissing so much culo to my ex because he didn't know where I was, what I was doing. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like my mom locked me up and I couldn't get a hold of you, blah, 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 blah. Like literally apologizing. Like I had no, oh, I just wish I can go back back and be like for what like what are you sorry for for what for what it was not your fault i'm apologizing to him i have so many messages from mr peach peach sam baltimore where are you is everything okay it went from like where are you i can't believe you're doing this stupid shit to like concern and before i even got to like message them back because i'm worried about like the boo thing the phone dies and i'm like <laughs> So I'm just sitting there and I'm waiting, I'm looking at the time and I'm like, you know what, Jade, you don't even got any room to be mad, to be, to get mad because you're out, you're out. She can take as long as she, she wants. Right now, you would be in the bed, just sitting there reminiscing, now you're here. So just, okay, don't even freaking worry about it. She can take as long as she wants. But I'm just like sitting there and I'm like, I need to charge my phone, like, I need to get a hold of him. So I'm trying so hard not to get a little attitude, y'all. Like, I really, really, really am trying. I just don't, I don't know, I think, I think baby likes to have anger issues or something, you know? Like for real, for real. So the hour and 30 minutes passes by, my mom comes back, her eyes are glossy, glossy. If anyone has seen their parents with eyes glossed, my mom just has like this look to her where like it infuriates my demons. Where like, it just makes me so mad where it's just like, this is what we're doing, you know? So my face can't hide it. And so my mom's all laughing, coming out and she sees me and she's like, what? You got attitude like that and i was like i don't and then she's like good because i'll take your ass right back and i was like and i'm sure you would and excuse me and i was like nothing tommy's like hey chill it stop stop and i was like so when are we gonna go home like i i was wondering if i could shower oh you were in there this whole time this whole time i need to learn a thing and i was just like because honestly it was always just like the nerve and it just was just crazy where it's just like, I wasn't in there because you really think that like, I should have. Like I was just in there because you just don't like me. And so I was just trying to play it cool, but at the same time, like not fight with her, play it cool and not fight with her. So she tells me like, don't you got your phone? And I'm like, yeah. And then she's like, it's dead, huh? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, that's why you're bugging. And I'm like, cause yeah. <laughs> You right, you right, you right. Cause I wouldn't be bugging if it was. Yeah, you right. So I kind of just like smile a little bit and then that irritates her. Cause she's like, you think that's funny? I think she's mad because I probably ruined her high because she was just like bitch face, like super, super like annoyed, like annoyed. We end up going to Tommy's house and we're just sitting there. I don't even want to ask if I can plug in my phone because I just don't want to irritate my mom and her be like, you see, you see, that's all you care about, blah, 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 blah. Cause like in reality, yeah. Cause like, look, like you're over here just doing this and like, this ain't fun, you know? So I eyeball charger and I'm like, all right, cool. I'm gonna go by, take that charger, go to the restroom, whatever I gotta do. I asked my mom again, like if we're gonna go to the house or like what we're gonna do. She tells me to stop asking questions that I don't even wanna be over there, but now I wanna be there. Like, which one is it? I just wanted to see my brothers. But at the same time, I wanted to know what was going on. Like, what is the plan? What are we doing? I just wanted to know. Did I really need to know? No, I guess I was just bugging, huh? Where it's just like, Jade, stop. So I ended up taking the charger, go to the restroom for like half an hour, let it charge. And I'm just like texting, kissing butt, like, oh, I'm so sorry. The ex is telling me that he won't talk to me unless my mom tells him that I really was locked up because he doesn't believe me and that I was probably doing whatever I wanted and he was worried about me, but I needed to do X, Y, and Z to prove to him that I really was there. Again, I wish I could just go back in time and just like get someone to beat his ass because that audacity. He had me, like my stomach was like, and I was like, oh my God, how am I gonna prove to him? He's like, he's not gonna believe me. And I'm like freaking out like sick to my stomach and I'm like, oh my gosh. I explained to the peaches that my mom took me out of state, lied to them about that, 
took me out of state because I didn't want them to be like, she locked you up, like, what'd you do? You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, how do you explain that to somebody? You just can't, you know? It's just like very, like, I don't know. I don't feel like you can't explain that stuff to somebody. All I got was a, okay. I was like, oh my God, they don't leave me, oh my God. So I go out and talk to my mom, plug the charger back in so it doesn't look like it went missing. Too late. Tommy's crackhead ass was like, you took it, you took it, I'm over here looking for it. I was like, oh, I'm my bad. My mom gets pissed off that I was in the restroom on my phone for that long because who do I need to be talking to? And I'm like, I just wanted to talk to my friend. She's like, you're still in trouble. I don't want you thinking that you can just go back and do an order you want and I was like okay time's just passing so I told my mom like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tired like is it okay if I take a nap just to see if she's gonna be like no we're going to leave I'm just trying to figure out what's going on and I guess like in reality I just wanted to know that like if her and my stepdad were uh working things out or like why I was in lockup you know what I mean she tells me that we're gonna go a little bit later that she wants to take me when he's going out to play pool I'm like oh okay that made me feel better. Or I was like, okay, so I was locked up in there because they were together. It was gonna hurt more if they weren't even together and she just had me locked up, you know? In a sick, twisted way, it gave me relief. My mom says it's fine for me to take a nap. That she'll wake me up when Tommy's gonna drop us off. I'm like scared, cause I'm like, I feel like if I pass out, she's gonna, she's gonna dip. She's gonna dip. I feel it, I don't know why. So I tell her like, are you gonna leave me? She gets freaking hot hot for asking such a stupid question but it's like can you really blame me though like you really just be dipping like can you really blame me but she is so pissed off of like how dare you ask me such a stupid question so she cusses me out and is like give me your fucking phone and i'm like it was just like my god it was just like my god and she's like give me your phone right now and i'm like so i gave her my phone she goes through some of the messages and she sees how i am like begging this dude and she gets fucking mad she is so mad so mad and she tells me to call him and i'm like no oh, no 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 mom please no 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 she's like call him right now he has you over here acting like this like this how pathetic and in my head i'm like girl monkey see monkey do monkey see monkey do but she was she was cussing me out like how pathetic she can't believe i'm over here acting like this and over him over him and i'm just like <laughs> same thing same thing but she is so pissed off like pissed off she gets the attention of tommy tommy's like what's up and she was like read this read this so i feel like humiliated because they're like reading my messages and i'm like i love you so much like i do anything for you and best belief back then giving him the world i don't know it was bruja stuff man like it was just insane so tommy's reading it tommy's getting pissed off reading it and she was like why are you degrading yourself like this and i'm just like because i love him i love him and they're like you know coming after his looks and just like how he is and that he probably thinks like he's a shit. and like no wonder why he treats you like this because look at the you tell him i'm just like oh, please 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 because my mom's like keep telling me to call him. Tommy throws the phone at me and she's like, call him now. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. My mom tells me yet again, you didn't learn anything being in there. And I tell her the only thing I learned about being in there is that you don't love me. My mom just like looks at me like in disbelief, like how dare I say that? My mom cocks her hand back like she's gonna slap dead. Let me, let me. And I was like, I saw like I put my chin out. My mom's like, Gets up, she looks like she's going to cry. Tommy gets mad at me and she's like, this is what you wanted to be out? And I kind of just like roll out her, my eyes at her cause bitch, please. I'm just like, goes and consoles my mother because my mom in fact did cry. Because in my mom's eyes, she's just trying to save me. You can save me from the monster. You just don't want me to, you don't want to save me from me, your monster. That's honestly what it was. It is what it was. So she's out there crying. I'm like super paranoid. I text the ex and I'm like, hey, if I don't message you back, like don't worry. It's cause my mom's taking my phone. Cause she's mad. She just seen the messages. And he's like, so what? You're like, are you embarrassed? You embarrassed of me? Cause like I was talking to him and I was like, no, of course I'm not. But like my mom just like, how could you like that? And he was like, what's wrong with it? <sighs> Mind games like a mother. Everything's wrong with it. What the f are you talking about? That is not okay. Like it was just like, the things that I would like promise to do was so humiliating 
and degrading. And I was okay with doing that and swallowing my tears because I did not want to lose, I didn't want to lose him. And I feel like I had to explain. He wasn't loyal. He like played me like a dog, you know? But part of me was like, no, he loves me. Like he really does love me because who else would love him like this? He knows that like I'm his ride or die because who else would fight for him like this? Who else would turn the other cheek and just be like, no, he loves me. Like people would straight up be like, this, this, this about him. And I'd be like, but he loves me. Like he loves me though. I really thought like, like he would like loved me. And I kept like telling myself like, why wouldn't he? Like, why wouldn't he love me? You know, I'm explaining to him that like, if she takes the phone and he was like, even if she tried to take the phone, like I want you to find a way to message me. And I'd be like, yes, yes. Like I will, like I will. I'll run away. I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever I have to. Like I'll sleep in the park. Like I, I will, I will, I will. And I meant that. Like I really meant that. Like I would do whatever to like stay out of there so that I could continue this with you. I'm still doing that, messaging, messaging, messaging. As soon as I hear them come back, I like put it away and I'm just like there. And my mom is just looking at me with like such disgust because she is so pissed off. Like what is wrong with me? So my mom comes back in and she tells me to go to the back room that she doesn't even want to see me. When she would tell me stuff like that, it was like really hurt. Cause it was just like, okay. So I go to the back room, close the door. Cause she don't even want to like accidentally see me. She don't want to hear me. She wants to see me breathe. Like she was just like, Get the f out of here, you know? So I'm back in the room for like a while where like, I kept like getting scared that she was gonna catch me with her phone. I kept like hiding it. But then I was like, uh, she's gone. <laughs> she's not here. And sure enough, she did leave. I eventually come out because I'm like, I'm gonna get some water. I come out, Tommy and my mom are gone. And I'm like, okay, okay. So what is Lux gonna do? I'm gonna leave mm -hmm. because I'm like, okay, if you're gone, I'm gonna be gone. And if you wanna report me as a runaway, that's fine, that's fine. So I tell the ex, my mom just left, come get me. He tells me that he's gonna be a little bit, but that he's on his way. And that I pretty much better fill my promises of everything I said I was gonna do. I was like, Okay, start drinking water, start drinking water, start drinking water. I swear I did not understand why my body would hurt so much during stuff. It was my body rejecting and like one because I was young, two because it was not okay and it was so unhealthy. So I started drinking lots of water, lots of water. I'm like getting scared because I'm like, he's taking too long. And by the time he comes, like they're gonna be back. They're gonna be back. Like, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Tommy had an extra key and I knew where it was. So I grabbed it and when he texted that he was here, my mom still was not there. And I, I book it. Cause I'm young and dumb. I see him immediately. I'm like hugging, hugging. Oh my God, oh my God. Like super excited okay where like i don't even see anyone in the back i just like was just like whew, and like kissing kissing he's just like he's too cool for it like okay whatever and so i'm like what's wrong and he's like nothing i hear giggles in the back and there is a girl and one of his friends they're like kind of laughing and i was like oh it was because i was gone he was like yeah she was locked up like thinking that it was like cool or something and they're like oh okay we ended up going to the mall we saw a movie we're being like cute with each other and like moments like that. I would tell myself like, this is why it's worth it. This is why it's like worth it. Crazy ass kid, crazy ass kid. Like who does that? Who does that? But the brownie points, it made me get with him where he was like, dang, you're willing to risk going back. I know you love me. And that shit was a fucking high to hear. Bro, it was like, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He didn't care. He didn't care if I was gonna get in trouble. He didn't care if my mom was gonna send me back. He did not care. And little Lex did not care either. I was just so toxic in love with him that I honestly was like, it's okay. Because I love him so much that this is okay. What I'm doing is okay. Like I really kept telling myself that. Kept checking the phone because I'm like, she's gonna tell me off any minute. She's gonna tell me off any minute. 
She's gonna be so pissed. She's gonna like definitely throw me back. He told me like, well, we better make it worth it because you might go back. Instead of him being like, let's take you back because we've been out long enough. Like, let's not push it. He was like, let's, let's make it worth it. If someone truly cares about you, they will never put you in danger ever. Silly me, I was like, but you're worth it. No, he, mm -mm, no Lex. So we drop his friends off and this whole time I'm on cloud nine because he keeps giving me like kudos. This is how I know you really love me. And I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just eating it up, eating it up. He's complimenting me, calling me beautiful. And I'm just, yes, 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 mm-hmm. Keep telling me, uh, yep, yep, yep. I was just so happy that he was not mad at me because I was gone. I was so like, yes. So as I'm being praised, I am also doing chores, if you know what I mean. So I'm doing chores and then I, uh, I start to bleed because the chores are just too much. I tell him like, I can't complete the chore. Like it's starting to hurt. Like, no, you're strong. You got this. If you continue to let me, it shows me how much you love me. I should have been like, boy, bye, stop. And even when I would say stop, like it didn't matter because it was cool. It was a turn on when I would fight back. That's not okay. No is no. Don't guilt someone into it. No is no. So that went on, which feels like forever because when you're in pain and something keeps continuing, it feels raw. It feels raw. Like imagine having a scab and then picking it and then rubbing your finger on it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, letting it go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, let it go back and forth and not being able to stop it. It is just excruciating pain that I don't, it's like excruciating and like painful pain that I don't know how to describe to the point where you would be like, oh, that would make my skin crawl. Like imagine just like ski, skidding on your knee completely and you know that like you're still bleeding but that you still continue to be dragged and you can still feel like the burning sensation. I caught a little attitude. It hurts, it's throbbing. Now it's, you have an attitude. But I thought you loved me. And I'm just sitting there throbbing and like so confused. Cause I'm like, I did. Like it's been like five, six chores I, I've done. Like I can't no more, I can't no more. And instead of like, okay, like let's go and get you like some pads or something. Let's go to the store. Let's, you know, like let's take care of you. Mm -mm. Discarded, okay. Now, since you're like not putting out anymore, now I need to drop you off. Now I'm done with you. Now I have an attitude because this isn't what you promised to me. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And I did what was promised, but more is asked. And even if I didn't do what was promised, I don't have to. I could say, never mind, no. But that wasn't allowed in that relationship. So finished driving home and I am just like mad I feel stupid and I'm just like you just got out of like a lock up you're crazy like what is going on like I felt like I went right back into like crazy motion and I was like oh my god those like the time I was in there like I really should have been enjoying that and so like I'm like in my head in my head in my head I don't notice that he's talking to me and I get wham and I'm just like, what? Oh, so like now you're not gonna pay attention to me? Like now you have an attitude? And I'm like, no. So I'm having to like kiss butt and explain that like, no, I don't have an attitude. I'm just thinking about like, oh, me getting in trouble. And oh, but I thought you loved me. I thought it was gonna be worth it. And so I'm just like having to defend myself. And I'm like, no, it's not like that. No, it's not like that. Like, I I, I just don't wanna go back because then I won't, be, I will be away from you. And I'm just like having to explain and it was so dumb. Like, ugh, I wish I could just, I just wish I had a backbone. Like I really, really wish I did. So dummy Lex, it, 
it was worth it. What are you talking about? That's not what I meant. Like having to like just explain. Like just imagine like the cringiest thing you could say. I, I, I said it and I like meant it, meant it, meant it. And I avoided eye contact a lot of the times because I just was so low on self-esteem and that was a huge, 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 huge no-no that I was not making eye contact and you don't, you don't mean it. And it was just such like a huge, huge, huge fright. Before I know it, we're there. I tell him like I have to go, that I wanna beat her before she gets back. And that sends like a light bulb in his head. And he's like, no, just one more kiss, that one more kiss. Gave him one more kiss. I'm like, okay, but I really gotta go. Like, I really think she's gonna come back now. Just one more, just one more. And I'm like, no, like I really, really feel like she's gonna be back now. Just one more, one more. And I'm like, scared. And part of me knows what he's doing. Part of me knows that he secretly wants me to get caught, but he doesn't want to take blame. You know what I mean? He wants to be like, no, it's your fault, not mine. Even though I'm like, okay, 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 come on. Like, why? Why do you want to rush me? Who do you, who, who's going to see? Huh? Who's watching? And I'm like, nobody, nobody. Just like begging. We're just like, please. But if I leave without listening to like the demand that he's giving, then it shows that I'm not loyal. It shows that I don't love him. And it is so... <sighs> Lil Lex was just like <laughs> freaking out. And I should have just been like, ew and left but I couldn't I couldn't because it was oh, toxic these are cute these are the lip and cheek bun I'm gonna go with like a pinky one so we literally did this for like a good couple of minutes like I tell him like you just want me to get caught huh he gets so mad what why would you think that i mean oh i'm sorry because i wanted to love you like oh i'm sorry that you just want me to waste my gas money and come all the way over here and i just want to i just want to make it worth it and mm, mm. i was like no 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 like no I, i'm a f mind game so i'm literally like right there like no 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 that's not what i meant like no like i'm sorry just like begging like no 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 like please don't be mad at me like no 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 and then I'm like, okay, like one more kiss. When I say that, a car happens to come by. And he's like, why? Who's in that car? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I honestly didn't. It was just freaking timing. And I was just getting more and more scared because I feel like we were pushing it more and more. And I really didn't want to go back to lock up. I really didn't want to. I was like, um, I'm trying to stay out, okay? So we had to wait for them to get out of the car. And of course, it wasn't like a quick thing they got out of the car. Of course not. So he was like, you know them, huh? I was like, no, like it was just timing. He's like, okay, well then give me another kiss then to prove it. <sighs> Literally kept going and going and going. So then I started to whine. Yeah, literally whine. How embarrassing. And he gets like annoyed. That, like I'm whining and tells me like just go just go because I started to whine but I was so scared because I was like we're we keep playing and my mom's gonna pop up like I just know it like I just know it I could just feel it so I tried to give him one last peck but he is so mad that he just takes off and as he takes off he's like don't message me don't call me and I'm just like okay like I feel like oh, it's my fault it's not, it's a freaking mind game, constantly. And I was willing to play it because I was so obsessed. So even though he said he didn't want me to text, I still text and I sent a paragraph of, oh, I'm so sorry. I just don't want to ruin the chances of being able to see you again, yada, 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 yada. And just like over explaining. Before I get there to the door, I can hear talking on the other side and I am freaking terrified and I'm just like giving myself a little pep talk giving myself a little pep talk and I'm like it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine just say you're sorry and just cry and just beg if you can beg him like you can beg her and it's okay it's okay I open the door and it's Tommy and she just looks at me and tells me to go to the fucking room right now I just okay and I went straight to the room I wasn't gonna sit there and try to argue with her like don't talk to me like that uh-uh I went straight to the room. I was so scared that I feel like when I looked around and looked around the room, I couldn't see anybody. I couldn't see my mom. 
it just felt like my lids got heavy and this happens often and i always tell you guys like i hate it it's like body goes into like protective mode or something and it's just like mm -mm, you're not gonna see nothing and there's been a lot of things that like when my mind does do that it has protected me from seeing from some nasty stuff but i'm just like um i wanted to see because when people told me like oh you didn't see that blah 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 and it's like something really nasty and i'm like no even though i didn't want to see the thing that was nasty but i'm just like dang like what has my eyes protected me from or my brain like it's crazy right so i go to the back room and i'm just like there for a minute and tommy comes by so dramatic and just like poof the door open and she's like where the f have you been i told her like straight hung out with my boyfriend want to see him you guys left i didn't think it was going to be a problem i thought i was gonna be back before you guys i know it was stupid i'm sorry that's where i was and then i showed her the movie ticket she looks at the movie ticket and she <laughs> is like how can you be so f stupid and I just tell her, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Me and your mom literally just told you about how you sounded so pathetic. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care if I sound pathetic. And I was just, like, telling her that, like, I love him. I don't always love him, you know? I ask her where my mom's at. And she's like, she's out looking for you. And I'm like, bullshit. Because I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it. I was like, mm-mm. She's like, she is. She went to his house. And I'm like, what? I am like terrified, terrified. Cause I'm like, what? And I'm like, say you're joking. She's like, I'm not. That's where she went to go see where you were. And I was like, no, 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 no. Say, say you're joking. And she's like, I'm not. Oh y'all, I was so scared. I was like, oh, I just put him in danger. My mom is going to attack him. Like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I was like freaking out. And I hate when I get this kind of freak out because I get so I can't calm myself down, like it's so annoying. I got this box from Huda and I am so excited to finally be able to see what's inside. Look, it's Team Pink or Team Peach. That's cute, I like that. These are cute, has these really cute ones inside. Cherry Blossom and then a Cherry Blossom setting powder. Team Peach, that is so freaking cute. It has Peach Beauty Blendles peach pie setting powder i'm gonna love this one i already know it and peach pie setting powder so i'll do a both and then you guys tell me what side you guys like text him and i start like apologizing like i'm so sorry my mom's going over there this 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 he calls me immediately saying that my mom better not mess with his family and if she does we're done and i'm like no no no, no please don't say that i thought you said you love me and i'm just like begging begging he is telling me that my mom better not that she better not and i tell him to let me know when he gets home but that that's what tommy said and he's like do you hear me like i'm not joking like she better not and i'm just apologizing apologizing because i don't want it to go down so i'm just sitting there freaking this whole time i'm just like <gasps> scared tommy comes back here and there and is like has your boyfriend called crying yet? And I'm like, no, like, can you please tell her? Can you please tell her not to? And she's like, I'm not telling her nothing. And she's just freaking me out even more, right? So my mom eventually comes home, well, comes back super, super late. She comes to the room. I have been messaging him, but he hasn't been messaging me back. So I'm like, okay, she definitely went over if he's not messaging me back. Like, she definitely told them something right for sure i want to try cher cherry blossom i have not tried this one so i'm like really excited so she sits on the on the bed and she's like what goes through your mind and i'm like i don't i honestly don't know what kind of sh is that that the day that i get out that i go and do that that like what goes through my mind and i'm like i i i i don't know because like honestly, like honestly, like what is wrong with you? Like for real, for real. She tells me that like I'm not scared of her because I still do whatever the f I want. And I'm just sitting there like scared. And I'm like, what did you do? All dramatic. And she's like, excuse me? And I'm like, what did you do? And she's like, what do you mean what did I do? And I was like, Tommy said that you went to his house. My mom kind of looks like she's like thinking about it. And she's like, yeah, I did. 
and I'm kind of like a liar, you know? And I was like, why? And she's like, why not? And I'm like, I just wanna know why. Like crying, cause I'm like scared thinking that like she ruined this relationship for me, which she should have, as she should. So she's just sitting there and I'm like hyperventilating, crying about this. She asks me why I'm crying and I'm like, because he won't wanna be in a relationship with me. And she's like, who cares? Like screaming at me. And I'm like, I'm just answering your question because I am like literally like, oh my God, you have ruined this for me, which as she should, perfect color. Mm hmm. Cherry Blossom 2 is cute, but I feel like we are going to mess it up with a peach pie. Crying to the point of like, like throwing up, okay? And then my mom finally feels like mercy for me and she is like, I did go over to the house, but they said you weren't there. That was the only reason why I went over there. Stop crying. And I was like, and then what else happened? Like really, really scared. And she said that she went knocking. They were like, no, she's not here. Cause my mom thought like we went over there and she was like, okay, well if she comes over here, then you call me. That she didn't threaten them to like stay away from me or anything like that, that like she just told them where am I? And then that where was my checks because I had babysat for them like a long time ago and they like didn't want to give me my money. It like sucked. I didn't understand like why they did that. And I had told my mom. So my mom was like, and I'm here to collect. So I was kind of mad about that. Cause I was like, you wanted the money for you not cause like you really wanted it for me. And she's like, that's all I did now stop crying. And I was like, well, how come he hasn't messaged me back? And she was like, probably because I told him something. And I kind of like calmed down. I finally was like able to catch my breath. So dramatic, like calm down, dude. <sighs> what is wrong with you? I couldn't explain it. I couldn't explain the fear that I had that like I was going to lose him. It was insane. So my mom asks me, what did I do? And I told her, like I was completely honest with her besides the chores, you know, and she kind of just like laughs and she's like, what is wrong with you? You're not scared of me. Like she kept saying it, like you're not scared of me. And I was just quiet. Like I wasn't gonna fight with her about it. She's like, I don't know what's wrong with you. And I tell her like, so look, are we gonna go to the house? She's like, no, we're not gonna go to the house. It's late. You were gone for such a long time. And that we can't just go and come out as we please and stuff. That my brothers are already sleeping. Now I just felt like she was just lying. And I was just like, well, how come you didn't go? And she was like, cause I was out looking for you. I'm like this whole time. And so she's getting mad. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you asking me so many questions? And I was like, cause I just want to know like why you're not there and why you're here. She's like, cause where are you? And in my head, I was like, all of a sudden, okay. All of a sudden. It's just, I don't know. I was just like, Mm -mm. I couldn't help but think like, oh, he's not playing house with you no more. So we kind of get into like a little argument because she was like, why? Why do you keep asking me? And I'm like kind of scared because I'm like the last time I kind of was like too honest with her, she couldn't handle it. And she's like, just ask me like, what? Just tell me. And I tell her like, you guys aren't together, huh? That's why we're here. And she's like, no, we're here because he don't want you over there. And I was like, mm. it was so hard to believe. I was like, you're already messing up. That's why we're not over there. That's what I was thinking in my head. And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, I told him that when you got out that you were gonna stay. And he said no, that he didn't wanna feel uncomfortable. So I told him that we'll go home when he's comfortable with you staying there. It was so hard for me to believe because I'm like, mm -mm, no. There's no way that she would have chose me. Love me, choose me. I didn't believe it. And she was infuriated that I didn't believe her. Like, how dare you question me? She was pissed. So she starts cussing like, you don't believe me? And I was like, no. She gets mad that I was like, no. And she's like, well, that's the truth. He didn't want you there. So if he didn't want you there, then I wasn't gonna be there. Because when I'm not with you, you're out doing whatever the hell you wanna do. Like blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like looking at her like, this is cute. You're lying, you're lying. And she was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm like, no, you didn't. Cause I don't believe her y'all. Like I don't believe her. It would have been more believable if she wasn't like on cloud nine and like chewing her like inside of her mouth. You know what I mean? So my mom tells me to get comfortable that we are going to be sleeping there. I was just like, okay, so get comfortable. I'm still texting him. And I was like, my mom told me she went over. I'm so sorry, apologizing. And for what Jade? Like, oh my gosh, I irritate myself. He eventually ends up messaging me back and tells me to leave him alone. And I'm like, but 
I thought you said you loved me. Blah, 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 blah. I knew you didn't love me. And he's like, okay. I'm over here pouring my little heart out. And he's just like, hey. And I was like, really? What I just did in the car didn't mean anything? And he goes, nope, y'all. When I tell you I cried myself to sleep, I cried. I cried so hard I threw up because I was like, I literally gave you my heart, body, and soul. And you're just gonna nope me? You're just going to K me? I was hurt. I was disgusted with myself. The next day comes around and I'm writing the peaches, just saying I'm sorry for not being reliable, that I'll work for free, I'll make it up to them. I am so sorry. Even Sam was giving me a very hard time. She needed me and I was just like apologizing to her too because I was like, dude, I'm so sorry. Like I did not know I was gonna get locked up. I am so sorry. She's like, no, I needed you. I felt bad. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like there was nothing I could do. Like literally I couldn't bust out. You could have found a way. So it was like toxic love with her, toxic love with the ex. I still try to make things right with the ex. And I was just like apologizing. And then I tell him like, okay, I'm not gonna try anymore. Like I really will leave you alone. I'm sorry. You see, I knew you didn't love me. You're so quick to give up. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Like I've been messaging you, I've been fucking you. It was so hard. So again, begging and begging and begging. And then he says, if you really love me, you'll find a way to see me. So I tell him like, okay, well, what time are you gonna pick me up? So I can like figure it out. He goes, no, you figure it out. So I'm like tripping out. Like, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? My mom tells me to get ready that she's gonna take me out. And I'm like, okay. She takes me out, I ask her like where we're going. She's like, don't worry about it. So I'm like, okay, I'm like scared because I got like PTSD of car rides with her now. We end up going to the same city that this place is at, right? We pass the area, she stops, and then she keeps going and starts laughing. And I'm like, that's not funny. Like, that is not funny. She tells me to lighten up and I'm like, mm -mm, no, like I'm so mad. Like, why would you even do that? So I was like on my best behavior because we were still in the city and I kept thinking that she was gonna just like take me there. If things went left, this is gonna be bad. We ended up going out to eat, staying out there. My mom did like a little bit of shopping for some stuff and we were just like honestly trying to like kill time. So we just continued to like drive around. So No Name ends up calling my mom and she gets like really annoyed. She has to go and get my siblings. My mom would make comments of, he needs to learn how to take care of them too. I was always doing it, blah, 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 blah. So my mom was pretty much saying like she like just snapped of always taking care of my siblings and he never did anything. She makes it so easy for him. So yeah, like, okay, valid. She was super annoyed that she had to go and pick up the boys. Oh my God, that smells so good. Mm. So she tells me to hop in the back and I do. I don't think anyone's gonna sit in the front or anything like that. I just think she he don't, she didn't want him to see me. But I didn't wanna question it. I didn't wanna fight her. I just hopped in the back, hop in the back and we pull up, she gets off, and a couple of minutes later, I see my mom coming out with my siblings and she is cussing out my stepdad. Cussing him out, they're fighting, they're yelling, he's starting, he's gonna call the cops, he's gonna call the cops. And I'm still like in the back, like, like that, okay? Like I'm trying not to be seen, cause I'm like, what if she doesn't want him to see? I, 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 I don't know, okay? I don't know. So I'm sitting there, I see Barbara, and she's like, gone, get out of here, gone. And I get mad because that is still my mom. And it's like, bitch, shut the fuck up, leave her alone. Because this man ain't shit. Don't defend him to my mom, don't defend him to me, don't defend him to Nadia, okay? So I lower the window, and I'm like, Barbara, shut the fuck up. Cause I, I'm like, who are you to talk to my mom like that? Cause she's like, gone, get out of here. Gone before I call ice. Shut the fuck up. So I tell her, shut the up. Barbara's like looking over at me she kind of like uh, and I was like <laughs> don't fucking hide me and was that mean yeah but Barbara's a bitch my siblings are coming to the to the door and they're like crying they're like looking at me probably like what are you doing here because it's always like worse timing right so they get in the car I'm asking them what's going on one of my brothers pops off and is like don't ask me about it and so he's all pissed off and I'm like ew fix your attitude your dad's a bitch <laughs> which wasn't cool and he's like no mom you know how mom is no mom and it was just it's very heartbreaking because mom 
and their father, you know? So they felt bonded to both. My mom's screaming, my mom's fighting, she's cussing at him. She keeps telling him that she's gonna put him on child support. He's like, put me on child support, bitch, put me on child support. That he was gonna take the kids from her. She's like, you can't even handle them and they're just like cussing each other out barbara saying that she's gonna call ice to my mom my mom laughs and says do it bitch do it they'd probably take you before they take me but fucking do it so then they start fighting my mom's like yeah call ice call ice and he tells my mom relajate means like relax 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 and she's like no call them call them call them call them right now he's like in my mom's face and i get like irritated because he has put his hands on my mom so i scream do not touch my mom. Don't touch my mom. I'll get my uncles on you. And he's just like, ah. but he didn't touch her. He was just like, and kind of like backed away. And I was like, don't do it. Don't do it. My brothers are crying. I'm like, just stop. Just stop. <sighs> so I get kind of annoyed with them because I felt like any time, like I did come around, it, like they, they loved me, but I feel like they just like, were like, they're fighting again and you're here you know what i mean and so i kind of get sassy with them i tell them just why the f are you guys crying stop crying because i'm like getting so mad where i feel like it's igniting the the thing even more so it kind of just like quiet down a little bit and i was like we're gonna go to tommy's we're gonna go have fun i was trying to sell like a good like we're gonna have a good time you know and so eventually the cops end up coming my mom gets pinned to the tree and the only reason why they get she gets pinned to the tree is because my mom has a mouth okay my mom does not care who you are what badge you're wearing anything at all so when they pulled up my brothers freak out even more and i'm like oh my god trying to calm them down they're like oh my god she's gonna go to jail forever so now they're screaming at their dad like what did you do they ended up coming of course the people is gonna be calm and collective and he's like she she hit me she did da, 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 da. so they they started to like kind of get into an altercation inside the house my mom came out so that if anything did happen we would be witnesses to it they started continuing arguing he was saying stuff she was saying stuff whatever right so when the officer gets there tries to hear his story my mom goes off on the officer tells him to pretty much do your fucking job he gets pissed off and he starts having a word with my mom this officer had had it out for my mom since the get, okay? This officer, I would hate when they would call this officer. <sighs> Cause as soon as he like, like read my mom's name, like, oh, I know who she is. He like pinned her to the ground when she got pregnant with my sibling. Like he hated her. Like he was on a power trip and so chiquita también. So he was like super power trip with her because my mom would call him like a leprechaun. It was crazy. Like they hated each other. And my mom, even though like she has done her stuff, like she was like book smart. So she knew like the code she knew, you know? And so it was really hard when he came around because he would try to tell my mom something, but my mom like kind of knew like the law too. So like they would like buck, you know? So anyways, my mom ends up getting it into him. I'm like, oh my God, it's this person. I call my grandma immediately and I tell her the situation. She's like, pass the phone to like no name. I get out of the car and he is like, hey, 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 hey. Like to me, like he didn't want anything with me. And I was like, shut the fuck up, it's my grandma. So I give the phone to him with my grandma. My grandma's like asking about what's going on, the whole situation, my siblings are crying. I'm like, oh my gosh, would this have happened if I was still in lockup? Like. Is it good that I got out? Is it not good? So I'm just like going through like all these emotions. As that's happening, my mom is pinned and I'm like, be careful with her. Like all scared. They're like, back up, back up, yelling at me. And I'm like, please just be careful with her. My mom's like screaming that they're gonna break her wrist. And they tell her like, oh, you're going in for this, 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 this. She tells me to call Tommy and to make sure that like everything's taken care of. No name this piece of is like, she's not my daughter, take her too. Ooh. My mom gets upset, starts screaming at him and starts saying that like, well, he's a, he's a P word, he's a P word, he's a P word. And I'm like, yeah, he is, yeah, he is. And that doesn't go anywhere because they're not gonna listen because they think that we're just saying it because of the situation, right? So my mom is like, her grandma lives up the street, comes up with the whole thing. The officers are like, do you have someone to come pick you up? Because my stepdad didn't want me on his property. And I'm like, yeah, I got someone to pick me up. So my grandma's been talking to no name. No name, it just like goes like this, like then, 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 then. I was like, sigue, which means like keep going. And he was like, no me dices nada, like don't tell me anything. And I was like, okay, watch, watch. So he gets ballsy and he's like, is that a threat, is that a threat, is that a threat? And I was like, what? Cause he was like super loud. So I looked at him 
and was like doing the crazy card back on him you know like you're you're crazy you know that kind of thing and i was like don't touch me because he was getting closer my officer separated us and my mom is in tommy's car so after my grandma had hung up with a uh, no name i called tommy i called tommy let her know she's freaking livid why did you guys think that was a good idea da, 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 da. and i'm like dude i don't know like i don't know she's like oh my god it's always something with this piece Blah, 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 that to make sure that he doesn't take the keys for me because he knew that we had a spare key on Tommy's car. As soon as he says that piece of shit comes in the car and like tries to like go at it, I snatch it for him. We start yelling at each other and he was like, give me my key, yelling at me. And I'm like talking to Tommy. She's like, don't give it to him, don't give it to him, don't give it to him. My brothers end up getting out of the car. They're crying. No name is like yelling at them to stop crying and i was like stop talking to them like that but i was looking at the officer who had just told me that but i was like screaming at him the officer's like looking at me the officer tells no name like hey settle down settle down because then he could take my siblings to the state it's just a phone call away and i was like no please don't please don't my brothers are crying my mom's yelling freaking out traumatizing as fuck, okay traumatizing i'm like oh my god so that guy is still arguing with my mom because my mom's like telling him like oh you up. you messed up you heard this you this and they broke something of hers in the process and so she was like i'm gonna get you and she was she was like really pissed off and she was like saying like all kinds of things i just kept remembering like oh my god mom like please be quiet and they're like we're gonna run it and if we run if we if you have something blah 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 blah, blah. and sure enough they ran it and my mom had a warrant out for her arrest so it was double whammy so I'm going to leave it there, you guys. I love you guys so freaking much. Besos a todos. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next upload. Hope you guys enjoyed the first Valentine's look. I love it. I like how it came out. I think it looks really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. I'm like debating to like get banged, but I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. If you guys are curious on creating this look, I definitely recommend getting these from Walmart. You see how easy that was? And even if you wanna use the big one, I used the medium ones right here. I think they came out super, super cute. I love it. And then just like outlined them. Love it. And everything that I did use on my face, I always link everything always, always in my description box. All you have to do is just open up the description box and it literally everything from like the brows, everything. And items that I don't show me using on here are listed, like the headband and like the brow products and cosas I've seen. They always will be linked down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's story time and you guys enjoyed the makeup look. Let me know what colors I should try out next or what eyeshadow palette. I would love to create something you guys would like to see and all that good stuff. So yeah, let me know. Love you guys so much. Bye to the and I'll see you guys Keep it, 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 keep it